You've probably heard of River City Girls, which is now its own series of popular beat-em-up games. You've maybe heard of River City Ransom, a 1989 NES game, which wasn't the first game in the franchise, but was the big catalyst which kicked off the hot-blooded street-prowling action which is now the Kunio-kun world. There have been many Kunio-kun, or River City, games that have been released through the years, but did you know that there was a direct follow-up to River City Ransom, which was released only a couple of years later? Have you heard of Downtown Special, Kunio-kun's historical period drama. If you haven't heard of it, well, you're in the majority, even among people who grew up loving River City Ransom, because Downtown Special was only released for the Famicom in Japan, and was only very recently officially localized to the West as a part of the Double Dragon and Kunio-kun Retro Brawler Bundle for the Nintendo Switch. This is a speedrun of the normal difficulty mode of the Retro Brawler Bundle release of Downtown Special. Over the past year, I have optimized runs of this game quite a lot, and because because of that, the only way to start runs on world record pace is to go straight to the gambling house and win five coin flips in order to get enough money to buy fast travel and a weapon power up. If you think this would result in a tedious and extensive grind just to get a single run going, yeah. But when you do finally get past that gambling house, don't think the immense luck reliance is over. In Downtown Special, you do not progress through the game by advancing through levels. You progress through the game by beating specific groups of enemies in a very specific order. And those groups of enemies spawn randomly in any of the ten areas in the game, in any of the rooms in those areas. Aside from a few duplicates, almost every single room in the game is hellaciously different in just about every way. As such, some of them are very fast to fight in, and some of them are very, very, very slow. On top of all of that, add some obscenely unpredictable enemy AI and hilariously unwieldy game mechanics and design, and let the jank begin. And okay, the fight has begun before I could even, you know, unpause the game. And that's like, that really rubs in the face uh, when people spawn right on top of you. They're attacking you before the game even starts. Before the gameplay even starts, people are in the middle of their attack animation. It really rubs it in. Well, thanks for the help! At the beginning of every fight in this game, I will be prioritizing KOing my own AI partner as soon as possible. There is no option to play without an AI partner, and whenever they are in the room, they cause <laughs> immense lag. Hey, we're going. Is the other guy running into a wall? No, he's not. Okay, good. Neither is that person. Excellent. Neither is that person. Excellent. That person is... not excellent. But I got him anyway. That actually ended up being perfect. That's the one time that people can run into that wall and it's good. That was that was the example. What a dickhead being smart and such. I, I would like to pick this up. Even with our AI partner gone and the game moving significantly faster, there is still intense lag always at play. Should be on the left. Maybe I'll do one more prediction after this just so we can put more tension into, into the next one. So people can see what it's actually like to, to hang on all the coin flips. Uh, Sudurga, that is not a run dead. Hopefully they're in this room. They are. They, they can camp a little bit in this room, but you can see they're already in the same place because of uh, how they were reacting to Kunio. <laughs> they were really... They are like, he won't do it. He's his friend. He won't do it. <gasps> he did it! <laughs> That's a fast roll. Thankfully I have the wagon so I can hit people off the right side of the screen. Uh, and then miss that coin somehow. And then this will happen because they're campy campers. And then look at him go! He sniped me. He sniped me. Like, a he's gonna do it again. And now I have to be hit to get it knocked off. And that guy is running forever. That was downtown special in a span of 10 seconds. Most of those seconds lost me 10 seconds. But, you know... Sometimes you lose 10 seconds to downtown special being itself for 10 seconds. There's not much more you can do to minimize the lag, and it's going to be eating a oh, lot of your shame. button inputs at inopportune times. Okay. Now this is a little awkward, especially because I f***ing missed him, and he's on top of my wagon now. And now I need to not hit him off to the left, but his friend is dead. Things spiral out of control fast if you make a single mistake. Slow boss fight, but otherwise pretty good. Now we have three chances for people to be in a good place. They're in Kawachi, that's perfect. They're in this room, which is a little weird! You'll notice that I'm waiting to hit enemies until they're lying on their backs. The secondary health of every character in this game only depletes when they're lying on their backs. Okay. 
I need people to not be separated by running into the wall on the right. Thank you. Okay, that was that was the best time for somebody to spawn there because I would have gotten them out of that area. That could be a fast roll out of the room. I believe it is, so I can't hit him. Actually, I might be able to hit him, but this is risky because he might get up. He did not, okay. If I hit him more times than I needed to, he would have gotten up with zero HP and willpower. This is an early single spawn, I think? No, that was just a good room. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Now I need the other gangs to cooperate. Please, please end up in places where I want to fight you, like Kawachi. Maybe some people have had the chance to get here. Or Suruga. Okay, good, 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 good. And they're here. I love fighting these guys in the town room. Why did that happen? Early on here, we're fighting four enemy clans in a row that move toward you on the world map. So while we're fighting one, the others might be collecting nearby. Focus on me, boys. You see him do- <laughs> He was- <laughs> He just needed to get a fistful of his- of his jersey. For some reason. And he- by golly, he did. Before the end, he did. He got a- he got a piece of him in his palm. Clans and bosses are a part of different AI groups, and this one is great for speedrunning because they just run up to you and walk into you. Okay, this is a good run so far. This is what I'm looking for. I need the next two splits to also go really well. And then probably the run will die immediately to somebody being in a bad room, because that's what happens. But this run has been amazingly fun so far. I will do another prediction after this. Alright, I'll check out the Son and Rikachu. Thanks for letting me know. Yes, okay. Um, now I don't... Hopefully the dark blue guys end up in Suturga. That would be ideal. I'm just trying to get this guy out of the way. You want to see some gameplay? Check this out. Don't freaking do anything that any of you are doing. This... He's unhittable. So optimal. So clean. At least the other guy had no intention of fighting me. Now, nobody run into the right wall, please. Thank you. Let this continue, please. Darn you. Something unfortunate that makes some areas worse than others is the fact that they can have places where enemies get completely stuck, either just standing still or running into walls. So that cost me a bit of time, and it might cause early single spawns. Now I'm on the right, so if somebody else was going to get stuck on the right, then they won't. But that guy got stuck on the left, and I, I tried to get on the other side so I could play defense against the other person. Now the other person is just stuck. Where is this next person spawning? On the left. On your left. He's gonna get up. No, he's not. Despite that ugliness, this area Kawachi is generally quite preferable. Okay, that was pretty good. Now, I would like to see the darker blue guys in Suruga. Please tell me they've made it there. This room? This room? Okay, so I have to waste a little bit of time going to find them, but this is an amazing- this is the start I'm looking for. Oh, what how the hell is that spawn? So you can see what? there have been quite a few slow interactions, but in this game it's basically impossible to string perfect interactions together, so you just have to take what you get and guide it. I made it work- well, he was- he also spawned on the right and just stood on the right, off, off the screen, for a jolly long time. This guy's gonna be around here somewhere. Get up here. Don't throw that at me from afar. You yeah. Don't throw that at me from afar! Yeah, this this is this is the first half that I want. This is what I want to like demonstrate as like what I want from the first half. <laughs> so no matter what happens from here on, like based on what tonight has been doing, the game knows it's going it's going to kill it really fast. Or it's gonna do the same thing as that one run earlier and Give me a great run into the last split, and then pull the rug on from- It'll give me the toilet room again. But this is amazing. This is what I know can happen, this is why I'm still playing. I know that I can get almost a sub-9 after the zombies. Run's dead? If it's the first room, okay. I would like a cliff fight. Uh, not with these guys. Okay, if they're in the town, then I have to go through the lag of seeing them, but it's not. Um, hopefully I don't get bad spawns in the thing that ends the run immediately by them being off of the room somewhere and I can never get to them. I can see that happening. Like, where- okay, uh, just please both be not out of the room. Question mark. Exclamation point. 
please everybody spawn on the top or on the right somehow. That was cool. Is he on the bottom? He is. That's really bad. He might come up to me now. That's not really bad. He's gonna run into the wall. That's fine. He almost went out. That would have been nice. Okay, I don't care. Basically, this entire group fight here is the standard that I want all of my fights to be like. Be careful. This guy can kill you and knock you out of the room in one hit. Amazing run. It could die immediately just by these next guys being in a bad spot. And this is the purple guys. This is where I lose a lot of time because this split was so good in world record, but great run so far. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. They're already camping, and this is another room where it's hard to follow them because it takes so long to get moving. Why did you do that? At least it nerfs them. You, you can see them coming because they take longer to get moving as well. And so I, I could see that guy coming after us, and I could jump out of the way. That's the one nice thing about fighting these guys here. <laughs> They're so powerful. That would have just nutted on me. Thank you. The other guy might be a problem. Playing it super safe. Man, they are so deadly. So unpredictable. Still a great run so far, as long as nothing terrible happens from here on out on this split. Gotta play it pretty safe because these guys are so deadly. <laughs> pretty much from here on out, getting hit once means you're dead. Uh, don't fast roll out of here, please. Don't pick up that rock and snipe me from afar. Okay, I think this is the last guy. The boss is gonna be on the right. Very good. Let's just... Nice. Okay, amazing. Um, now for the run to die to a bad spawn. 20 seconds lost there is great. Um, uh-oh. Okay, go immediately, immediately over here. The entire second half of the game is so nerve-wracking because one mistake, one eaten input, one unpredictable AI movement, and everything is over. This is what I'm looking for. This is hopefully gonna be a good pace. Oh my god, he had one more hit left. And he was in a place where he could kill me. They, how did they separate? Oh my god. It's clench time every, everywhere now. It's absolutely everywhere it's clench time. I was hoping for him to bounce off of the wall on the top. That's fine too. He's been alive for too long though. They might caught early single spawns. He's gonna camp on the bottom. Dude, he should bounce off the wall. That controls him. Most of this fight is an unfortunate travesty of tiny time losses with enemies constantly getting separated by finicky, minute things. He, he moved up just slightly so I can't hit him. That's horrendous. How did he know? How does the game know? Oh my god, and I ended up on the slope. Uh, this could have been going a lot better. Just bounce off the wall, please. And you too. That's what I was hoping to do this entire time. Um, yes, you can spawn over there. I know because you can. You can see that the game's terrain constantly throws characters into different states that I have to stay ahead of. Okay, now here's where I can save time. And let's see if they spawn in an absolutely terrible place that kills the run. First off, I need to do this cutscene, and now I'll see if they end up in Tassa, if they end up in Echu, if they end up in Izo, if they end up in the one in four room in Rikachu with the lava. If they end up in the one and three room in Nagato, that's terrible. They ended up in Sudaga. Wide open, mostly flat, viable. Okay, I have to spend some time getting to them, but Sudaga is good. Red's already attached. Oh boy, you need to not be. You need to not be. Not yet. We get to we get to see if we can save time here. But I could die to these guys. Um, I could get terrible spawns for one, two, three, four more gangs. I could get terrible areas to fight in. Any of them could kill me. These guys are camping. Oh god. Oh god! They're so unpredictable. He's gonna fast roll. Just try and get him together. Like that. But this has been an amazing run so far. Very fun. I, I hope you're all enjoying. Oh 
Oh god, uh, my dash was not working. Don't spawn on the left and just immediately kill me. What? He got up with zero HP and willpower. Yep, that happens. If a character's health is completely removed, but their laying down oh, timer guy. expires in the meantime, they get up anyway. Let's not mess up the twins fight. This That was my biggest time save of the run. If I don't mess up this fight, which I have, 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 that's a shame. Very frustrating that I botched both one versus two boss fights in this run. They're usually very straightforward. That could have gone a lot faster. Okay, now another chance for a terrible spawn. Is it the, is it the one in four? It is. So the run's probably dead now. Um, I'm gonna try and get this wagon out of here so I can try and stop them from coming down. Unfortunately, that didn't stop Kunio. He's in the lava now. I, he's gonna be alive forever. I, I tried to just play damage control. Hopefully they don't try and go after him. The problem with this room for speedrunning is exactly what you're seeing happen to Kunio right now. If any of the enemies fall into the lava, they stay completely trapped, and it takes more than a minute for them to die. It is tragic. Almost always completely unsalvageable. Run dead. Oh no. If he jumps, if he jumps, it's over. If he runs into the wall on the left, it's over. It's, it's just, there's, it's, there's, <laughs> it's so bad. He needs to get up here. He needs to come up on the ramp and not go back down. He's, this is just such a terrible room. Okay, single spawn. Okay. Okay, I had to make sure he didn't go off the left because that would have lost a time a lot by me not being able to hit him. I'm gonna try and spawn this guy on the left so I don't have to deal with the lava. Oh god, god! Oh, I almost went too far to the right. Okay, three more chances to die to terrible, terrible luck. I have to do a cutscene here. I should have remembered that he was here somewhere. Okay, he's here. I have to go over here so he actually spawns. Now, Tossa, Echu, Ezo, Toilet Room, the bad room in Nagato. Okay, if they're not in this next room, it's it's over. We've already seen this room just now. Okay. This room is scary because I could die. They have a lot of movement options and weirdness here. Just play defense. Hopefully this guy dies and doesn't get up. He will. Okay. Don't be on my right and kill me. This guy might get up because he has more HP. Don't kill me. Check out this jank. That makes sense. Yeah. That I'm, I'm glad he went to the left, which is a totally logical thing for him to have done. The game ate my input again. Th that actually is going to matter. The game ate my input there. That's going to matter. Ugh. Don't spawn the next person yet. That's an easy way for you to get yourself sandwiched. Okay. If this goes okay, two more chances for the game to absolutely troll me in the worst possible way. I can get Toilet Room, I can get Ezo, I can get the worst room here. Like, there's a good chance if the next gang spawns here, it's gonna be the other room. This is just a cutscene. During non-boss talking sequences, hitting the character makes the cutscene end earlier. Now I have to do another cutscene. They're in his end. Right here. This is really far on the other side of the room, but that's okay. So, two more chances to get a, a run-ending room. Let's see what happens. Heart's pounding, let's see what happens. Um, they're in Suruga, that's amazing. Um, it's one of the other two rooms. So, if we survive, one more chance. Will I get the toilet room as the final room? Frickin' two finished runs in a row. That would be something special. But I have to survive this first. Hopefully I just get a town room. But let's not think about that yet. I did charge just now, but I'm also doing a lot of waiting in the center of the room to see where enemies are coming from. You are a fast jittery burry. Fast jittery birdie boy. They are jitterers. Don't fast roll out of the room, please. I'm not even gonna get this guy's coin yet. I'm just gonna play it safe. Now I'll get it. Okay, he's down there. He's gonna be stuck for a little while, but he's gonna jump up and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. That's, that, that's it. It's, it's just, and then. The wagon helped me play defense. Don't spawn on my right. Actually, there are no more. 
The game has one more chance to do another freaking toilet room or something comparable. We only have to fight one of the two characters here. Asajiro just runs away. What will happen? Will another run die? This is a slightly better pace than last time. Is it dead? First room. I had a vision of them being in this room, but it wasn't them. Okay, now don't kill my run to voiding out of here. It's a town. I asked for a town and I got a town, so don't die. These guys have killed me before. I lost time trying to find the last group, but they're in a good room. I probably shouldn't try and be on the left, but that's the faster way. That's the faster way and I could have died. Um, if they don't throw that. Thank you for distracting them, Kunio. I lost my wagon. Pretty nervous. Don't spawn on my right. Um. Kunio was pretty useful. Don't sandwich me. They're sandwiching me. I did the right thing. It may not look like it when things go well, but I am teetering on the edge of death every single moment of the second half of the game. How about that for some gameplay? Let's do this right. Once Asajiro is defeated, all that's left is to go back to Suriga into Bunzo's home. the cat in for that one. Frisky! Frisky! Yay! I did it! I did it! Yay! Thank you, game. Thank you, game. <laughs> <laughs> Sub 2130. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I don't think I ever got knocked down. It was clean. Showed off a lot of areas. We gotta do the true ending here. Okoto, Okoto wants, Okoto wants Kunio's hand. Don't be a dickhead, Kunio. Don't be a dickhead, Kunio. Don't do it. Don't say no. Don't say no, you freaking asshole. You are such a dick, aimless wanderer. Where are you going, Shadow of the Colossus? Huh. Yeah? Okay, this has been one hell of a night. The fact that I lost 17 seconds, like like the last run that finished, I only lost 12 seconds on the final split, or the second to last split, I guess. Only losing 17 is also godlike. <clears throat> I'm so happy with that. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for witnessing that. Thank you all for supporting me. I had a, a rough moment earlier um, when I had the run that was <laughs> like seven seconds behind this one about three hours ago that got to the final split and got the worst room in the game. And I got a town room this time. I, it gave me the same run and it gave me a town room. This run did not have any of the water rooms in Tasa or Echu. It did not have, I believe, a single fight in Izo. I don't think it had a fight in any of the swamp rooms. As I recall, the be no, I think the beginning was just good. I feel like the beginning, something about the beginning was a little slow. I think this had some bad menuing in the beginning or something. I don't know. Maybe it was just really good. No, a lot of things about the first half of the run were a bit slow and unclean, but the second half really made up for it. Red says, sub-20 incoming. <laughs> God, it's possible based on the sum of best. Um, the one thing that I didn't get in this run, I never got a chance to fight on the cliffs. I didn't get a chance to knock everybody off the cliffs and save like 20 seconds that way. Um, that's the one nice thing that was in um, the last world record, and the one nice thing that I would have been able to show if that previous run tonight had made it all the way. <sighs> yeah, I can do better, uh, but I think I'm going to 
have this be a very satisfying, nice, nicely tied bow on top of this uh, grind that I've been doing the last few weeks. Um, not to say I'll never come back. It can definitely be beaten. The Benny and Clyde group fight was especially egregious. That's incredible. That's pretty wild. This is the second time this year where I had a pretty crushing way that I had a run I was satisfied with end at the very end. The last time it happened, it was River City Ransom Advanced Mode. Um, and I had a, a very dark moment there. Um, this one was not as bad, but it was it was reminiscent of it. Both nights that that, that happened, I immediately got a run that I was satisfied with. And this time, I had the benefit of two raids. Thank you, Red. Thank you, Zarkonis. I'm so grateful to all of you. I'm grateful to everything. I'm grateful to the game for giving me that. 1949, coming out of the Men in Black. Sub-2130 speedrun. There's a whole lot of just dumb luck. The, the luck I got in that entire run is unfathomable. Like, of course, like, for, for people, for the benefit of people who are watching this and have, have never seen this before, have never seen me before, the reason I was saying that every single split from the, from the midway point on, the run's probably dead here, let's see if they show up in a place that just kills the run, it's because you have so many chances, the game has so many chances to spawn people in an unplayable room, it almost always happens. It almost always happens at some point in the run, at some point in the game, in one playthrough. This is the first time, I believe, aside from the god run, the god run that I had um, about two weeks ago now, that this is like the second time that I had never seen one bad room. Or one bad area. Risky! That was, you know, a one nice thing I love about speedrunning, and a lot of things in general that take uh, intense performance, um, that have a lot of performance aspect to it. I, I do a lot of visualizing when I'm not actually actively doing the thing. I visualize, um, you know, sort of passively a lot of scenarios, especially scenarios where things are going as, as well as possible. Or like maybe some specific uh, interesting things, like if I got a cliff fight on- I thought I was gonna get a cliff fight uh, on the very last split because I visualized that. I had a feeling, and it was so close. It was the town instead, which is less scary, so that's fine. But like that run, aside from that, it was really close to how I visualized like what it would be like to be on a run like that. And god, that's fun to do. Celine said, Everyone in River City Ransom talks with their fists. It's just how they say hello. <laughs> yes, I see. Yeah, I feel bad for that dude. Like, hey, I found some medicine. <sighs> a punch in the face is the best medicine. Red was correctly attached, as it as it as it turned out. Red was very. He chose his he chose his moment. And to be fair, I said that it was too early, but I was also attached. I just I was trying to temper my attachedness by saying that. Yeah, people who have been here since the beginning of the stream have seen the gamut of emotions and, like, my stream of consciousness. Like, in my lows and in my highs. I, I will never be able to express what it means to me to, to have any support and to have, you know, to have people care. And tonight was a lot. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Anyway, that was the run I was looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.